In this video, we're going to talk about how to reclaim your confidence when your partner takes you for granted. Now, this is super important because once this starts to slip, once your confidence starts to wane and your partner starts taking you for granted and you start getting these little belittling remarks and maybe she just blows you off or she rolls her eyes and she just kind of holds you in contempt, this is the sign that your relationship is falling the fuck apart. And if you don't get this handled as soon as possible and turn this around and stop this kind of behavior, you're going to find yourself on the receiving end of, I love you, but I'm not in love with you, or you may even end up finding her in an affair. And you don't want to have this for obvious reasons. It sucks. It sucks big time. And the problem with a lot of guys, when they get stuck in this, this spiral, they don't know how to turn it around. And so what ends up happening is the fight is just not worth it anymore. Like he'll say something, she'll give him a belittling comment, and then he'll try to say something about the belittling comment, and then it ends up turning into a fight, and then he just eventually tucks his tail between his legs, and then for whatever reason, after that, he gets conflict averse, he doesn't want to deal with it, and then he starts to feel like he's walking on eggshells, and he's lost all the power in a relationship, and I can guarantee you, if your woman does not respect you, if she does not find you as a competent and confident man, she cannot be attracted to you. And if she's not attracted to you, that's when you're going to start running into situations like she's just not in the mood or you keep having these constellation sex or you find out that you're in a completely sexless marriage. So I'm going to show you how to turn this around very quickly in this video. My name is Ed Baxter and I help guys in betrayal situations. I've coached thousands of men. Tens of thousands of men have come through my doors in one form or another. I've had over 3,000 guys come through the Betrayed to Badass program. And that's what we do. We'll get you to that place where you make the right decision for you and your children. If you're watching this video, you already know that you have a problem and recognizing the problem is the very first step to making a change because sitting in this place and just allowing this to fester with no boundaries and for most men in the relationship, they've set no boundaries. They've just been with this woman and they played this game of happy wife, happy life and then it just kind of devolves into this three ring shit show of tit for tat or he tries to do something and it never is enough and then she just holds him in contempt and she rolls her eyes at him. Once you recognize that there's a, a problem in the power dynamic, you now have the ability to change it. So now that you've recognized it, now that you've had, heard me tell you, there is no excuse for yourself. You have to make a pivot. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Stop overgiving. What does it mean to overgive? It means doing extra things so that you think that she's going to be happy. And most guys who are dealing with codependency or nice guy behavior, they try to give proactively, hoping that they'll get something in return, but they don't tell the other person what they want to receive in return. And so they have this, what they call a hidden agenda. And in this hidden agenda, he's giving, but he's really giving to get. If I give her this, maybe she'll give me sex. If I do this for her, give her a back rub, maybe she'll be nice to me. If I do these things for her, maybe she'll just start giving me credit and validation, telling me that I'm a good boy and a good husband and that she's attracted to me. This isn't how women work. Women respond to what you tell them. Don't tell her how you feel, tell her what you want. If you can clearly define what it is that you want, you are now giving a more dominant position in your life because you are expressing assertively what it is that you want. This doesn't mean you're gonna be an asshole, it just means that you're expressing what you want instead of overly giving to try to get something in return. The second part of this is most guys have no boundaries at all. And so for you, you have to get very clear on what you will or will not accept in your relationship. But most guys don't think about this it's because they never thought about the kind of relationship they want to build. They just kind of happen into whatever happens with their woman and then they just kind of wing it by ear as they move forward in their relationship. And so they get into this place where they have no idea what they want. And so because they don't know what they want, they have no boundaries. So you got to start setting some sort of boundaries for yourself. Your greatest gift is your time and attention. So if you're with this woman and she's not giving you a good attitude or she's holding you in contempt, stop giving time and attention to that behavior. In other words, do not reinforce her behavior by giving emotional energy to it. And this is the same for anything you want in your life. What you focus on grows. So if she starts having a belittling comment to you, address the comment and then eject. You do not need to give energy to that and get into an argument with her. The thing is, is you don't need to argue with your wife. Again, the power position is I do what I want because I can and because I'm able to. It's not a discussion point. That's how power works. Power is I can do something because I can and I want to. It is not a negotiation. And most women are just dying for their man to be a little bit more dominant in their life. They don't want the man to dominate them. They just want to show that he can be a dominant person in life and make things happen in an assertive and ethical way. 
not forgetting to bring his heart to the table. And when you do this, when you say, hey, this is how I'm going to operate, not by telling you how I'm going to operate, but by actually doing the thing, you'll find that she'll naturally just start falling in line. And once you stop giving her that attention, you go focus on yourself. Go focus on things that make you successful in your life. If you're doing well in your business, go focus on your business. If you're doing well with your children, go focus on your children. If you're doing well in some sort of hobbies or some sort of community endeavor, double down on that. Why? Because if you're at home and she's beating you up all the time, it's going to take a hit to your confidence because you don't know how to depersonalize the situation. And so go do things that build up your confidence. Go be powerful out in the other world. I can't tell you the number of guys who started a business and started feeling powerful in their business, and then they come home and their wife acts like this, and he's like, I don't, I don't have to deal with this anymore. Or he gets a promotion, now he's an executive, and he's telling everybody else what to do, and now he is the boss, and he comes home, and he's not the boss. That shit don't fly anymore. He's like, no, I'm not that guy anymore. I have transformed, I have leveled up, and so I'm not going to put up with this at home either. And so for you, if you haven't had quite that kind of a windfall situation or something that you created over a long period of time, you're going to have to create it for yourself. If she's taking you for granted, and not in the kind where she's giving you belittling comments, but she just doesn't notice them. Let's just say that you do a lot for the family and she just is oblivious to all the things that you're doing. When this happens, sitting around hoping that she will notice and hoping that she will shower you with praise and sex is the wrong move. Tell her what you want. Tell her you, you want to be appreciated for certain things. Say, hey, I'd like you to appreciate me when I do these things. Hey, I'd like you to show me how much you love the fact that I do these things. And maybe she doesn't care. But what she's going to do is she's going to test the hell out of you for this. And she's not going to test you because she thinks what you're doing is stupid. She's going to test you on your conviction on it. Do you have a commitment and a certainty towards this? Or are you going to wishy-wash as soon as she gives you any the slightest bit of resistance? When you say, hey, I would like you to appreciate me by giving me a back rub once a week because of whatever. Now, a woman in a great relationship, she'll be happy to do this. Why? Because she wants to please you. A woman who loves you dearly wants to please you all the time, as long as she's not completely overwhelmed herself. And so in this situation, you can say, hey, I'd like you to do this. She's like, back rub? What? I'm not giving you a back rub. I had a client, he's in my council right now. His wife was a massage therapist. She gave him one back rub in like 30 years of marriage. Why? Because he wasn't certain in himself and he forgot how to play with her. And so she was completely overwhelmed in her marriage with him and he kind of checked out to work on his brokerage and as a school teacher that he didn't have any kind of relationship with her. They were just roommates. And so he wasn't able to tell her what she want, tell her what he wanted. If he was able to tell her what he wanted, he would have had to do the self-inspection, self-introspection in order to understand what's going on in the relationship. But that didn't happen until years later, until after he came into the program. But for you, as long as you tell your woman what you want and you have certainty and conviction behind it, she's going to take it seriously. And she, again, she might test it, but double down on what you want. Say, this is what I want. This is what I like. I would like this in my relationship. Again, you're the leader of the relationship. So you have to clearly define the terms and conditions for how you, you and her operate. If you don't define it, it will get filled in by everybody else, your job, your kids, your your wife, and whoever else wants any kind of demand on your time. And you have to be the custodian of this. You have to define exactly how you want to relate with your woman. And she has to know exactly what that is. Now, the toughest one of all of these five points is this. So listen up. You have to be willing to walk away if change doesn't happen in your relationship. If you're doing everything in your power to be a better man, to be more powerful, to be more confident, to be more competent in the bedroom, to be a better husband, to be better for your children, and none of this matters, then you're wasting your time. And oftentimes, the straw that breaks the camel's back is your willingness to walk away. And this can be really hard for guys that are in like a 20, 30, 40 year marriage. How do I just walk away from that? I would argue that your inability to walk away is what's enabling this situation. She knows you'll never change. She knows that she's got you locked in. And when a woman knows that she's got you 100% locked in like this, then she's so secure. That means that she doesn't have to change. She doesn't have to do anything. Then she starts to lose respect. And when she starts to lose respect, she does not want to sleep with you anymore. When she loses respect, she does not want to sleep with you anymore. A woman can only be with a man she truly respects and looks up to. And if you're willing to put up with all this kind of bullshit and not willing to walk away and prove it with your feet, then she knows she's got you. And she knows she can manipulate you and she knows that she can do whatever the fuck she wants and there will be no consequence. And you thinking, well, that's horrible. I don't want to treat my wife this way. I'm going to tell you 
And I want you to consider the fact that she's built this way. She's built this way by nature, and this is by design. It makes you move. It tests your conviction and commitment as a man to yourself and those around you, and that makes her feel safe. Not only is she built this way for this, it also makes you better. So stop looking at it as this horrible thing and look at it as a test for you moving forward as a man in your own power. So you have to be willing to walk away if you do not get the results that you want and go try something else. And she must feel this, that if she pushes you too far, you're out. And it can't be this whole thing where you tell her, I'm out, and then you're actually not out. You actually have to follow through with what you say. If you follow through for what you say, you will not be tested by women. Women test men, they don't believe really what they're saying. And she's getting emotionally upset because he can't stand firm into who he is. So really, there is only one test. Are you a liar? If, you got a, if I've got a woman and I'm dating a woman and she's giving me a lot of drama and stuff like this and I'm feeding into it and I'm listening to her and I'm like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm getting wrapped up in her emotional state. She knows that she's pulling the world towards her and revolving it around her. If it revolves around her, she's not going to feel safe with you. It needs to revolve around you. And she needs to fall into your frame. If she can fall into your frame, then she can settle down. She can be calm. But if you get wrapped up in all the things going on there, and if she gets out of hand, you have to be willing to walk away. Because that demonstrates that there is a limit to what you will put up with. And it can be hard. Again, it can be hard if you've been with somebody for 40 years to start this. You're like, how do I do this? I've got to... Yeah, it's like moving an aircraft carrier, turning it around. But you can do it. In fact, you have no choice. Because if you don't, you're just going to keep doing with what you've got. And then you're going to just keep going down this road of either she's not interested in you, she doesn't want to have sex with you, she's not rubbing your back, she's not telling you, she can't wait to sleep with you. She's not doing any of that stuff. In fact, you're the one begging for all the attention. So if you want to have more than that, then just keep doing what you're doing. But if you want to make something different, do what I say. Why? Because, dude, I have been there in your shoes. I have felt that pain. And I've also felt the freedom on the other side where I don't really have to do a lot. I just have to be strong in who I am. And my wife absolutely fucking adores me, is devoted to me, and wants me several times a week. If you want to reclaim your power, get your confidence back in your relationship, and really start owning things and turning things around, then hopefully this video is helpful. If you want another video, if you want to learn how to set strong boundaries for yourself and for your woman, watch this video right here. And if you like this video, make sure you subscribe so that you get notified for all the ones that come up in the future. Hit the like button if you like this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.